One Piece World Seeker is a really weird open world One Piece game that takes place on a prison island that didn't use to be a prison island. Luffy and his crew end up beached here, and they must engage in the local politics and tear down many varieties of baddie on their quest to help a whole slew of new and familiar characters. To be fair, it's not a bad premise. I just described basically half of all One Piece storylines. And the writing, while far too expository and mindless on average, isn't all bad. There are real themes here about how politics tear apart families, encourage harmful tribalism, and make it harder and harder to appreciate the shared humanity in all people. And if we're too obsessed with protecting what we love, we can accidentally end up destroying it. It's not subtle or anything, but it's not awful. The open world was also serviceable enough as a setting. I commonly saw folks complain that it was empty, but there were enough NPCs around for it to be believable, and it felt far from lifeless. Each area has distinctive architecture, and serves a unique purpose in the culture and economy. There's a lot of detail in some particular places. Now, is it fun to do anything in the open world? Not particularly, unless you count the traversal mechanics, but at least they tried. World Seeker only really falls apart in the proper gameplay. It's an open-ended action RPG where the idea is to make your own build, allowing you to tackle the combat encounters with your own style. To this end, there's the familiar upgrade trees and the rather loose enemy encounters, and it all feels very… not One Piece? It feels much more like they were aiming for any number of generic western ARPGs than threw in some Spider-Man for good measure. A lot of the upgrades feel completely arbitrary, and there's little reason not to make all these mechanics available to the player from the start, or else have them unlock through story progression instead of skill points. Luffy already knows how to do all this stuff, so why are we making him start from scratch? It can't be to preserve the difficulty curve, because that's all over the place. Most of the time the enemies are staggered too easily and are too mindless to pose any real threat, and when you do come across someone who's a genuine challenge, it's only because they teleport everywhere, or are immune to knockback, or have really ridiculous iframes. Fighting in general also feels very stiff, mechanical, and worst of all, bland. Then there are the little annoyances, like, the game has crazy amounts of ludonarrative dissonance. There are obvious gameplay solutions to everyone's problems, but you instead have to solve things on the narrative end. It makes the world feel disjointed and forced. When a guy asks for big gems, and I already collected a bunch of big gems, but all the characters continue acting as though I don't have any big gems, simply because I haven't triggered the right story flags yet. I tried to push myself through the whole experience, but I just couldn't. I was frustrated and felt no joy, but it's not a truly terrible game in spite of that.